JP, as we say good morning to you going to break, I prefer the Four Seasons. Where the heck are you? <laughs> Lauren, good morning. This is truly one of my favorite hotels that we stay at in the entire showcase circuit around Major League Baseball. Yes, my room is a trailer. It's a great trailer. It's the Dolly Parton trailer, and it comes fully equipped with a copy of Jack Kerouac's On the Road. Nothing behind me, everything in front of me, as is so, On the Road. Wait, why are you there? Did you ask for that? Because there's yes, of course. I I, I did. Oh, let's did put it this she way. Did she stay Lauren. there? Why? Me? I don't get it. I nor do I, if we're being honest, Lauren. Uh, and now, when I spoke with the front desk, did I expressly say, "Hi, I'm John Morosi, MLB Network. I wish to stay in the Dolly Parton suite or <laughs> yeah, trailer, you did. as you it were." It. <laughs> but but when they said. John, you get a chance to stay in a trailer. I said, I I'm all about it. Let's do it. And then I walked in. There's a, a beautiful photo of, of Dolly here on the wall. So it's just, it's a great place to stay. <laughs> you are ever, forever the optimist. 10 Grammys, by the way, 52 nominations. Eric Nays told me in my ear, there's no transition from Dolly Parton to Jason Dominguez. I'm not that good. I have no idea, but torn UCL for him. And Yankees fans were so filled with happiness and hope. That's so dramatic. But what, what happens now and what happens for next year? How does it affect next season? Lauren, just difficult news for the Yankees because, as you point out, they had just started to build some positivity around the arrival of the Martian. Four home runs in his first eight games in the major leagues and now out for the season and truly the first half of next season in all likelihood with, with the UCL injury. And if, if Tommy John surgery ultimately is the recommendation and that, and that appears likely right now, uh, you think about the Bryce Harper timeline and when Bryce came back around the middle part of the year, Perhaps the Yankees will be even more careful with Dominguez just because he's so early in his career. You want to make sure that he gets everything fully healed and ready to go by the time he returns to the Yankee lineup midway through the year. But it, it's a tough blow for the Yankees in so many ways, Lauren, because Dominguez had played so well. He had brought the left-handed power this team has so desperately needed and also a lot of power positivity in the midst of what's been a challenging year. Now, of course, all of that is gone, and they have to just find a way to maybe cobble together uh, an outfield in some different spots for next season before he's able to come back. Obviously, they've got Judge and Stanton and others that they can count on, but it's not quite the same without the dynamic young talent of Jason Dominguez. And again, he's expected to return sometime around the middle of 2024. You talk about young talent. What about for the Red Sox? If you look at the box score lately, it's not the usual suspects all the time. There's some youth injected. You're smiling. It's fun to watch. It really is, Lauren. I think it's going to be one of our key storylines tonight on the showcase game is, is how young the Red Sox have become. Sedan Rafaela is one name to watch, a dynamic talent. He, he reminds me a bit, Rafaela does, of what Javi Baez was when he arrived to the Cubs. A lot of excitement with him. Tristan Casas, since the first couple months of the year, has been one of the most consistent first basemen in all of baseball. Willie Arabreu in center field as well. And Abreu is a great story. He arrived to the Red Sox in the Christian Vasquez trade from the Houston Astros at last year's trade deadline. And now it looks like he's got a chance to be a steady outfitter. I think overall, Lauren, Alex Cora has done a really good job with this team. He's brought in some young players. As you see that the ages and the, the youth of, of Casas, Rafael, and Abreu on your screen right now. I think Alex has done a really good job of integrating the youth with some of the experience in this team and getting the most out of this roster. We talked before the break about where the Red Sox are in the wild card race. Obviously, they're probably not going to pass the Blue Jays, but the Jays have a much more talented team, to be honest with you right now. And I think the Red Sox have done a pretty good job of staying close and staying relevant and giving themselves some really positive momentum entering 2024. Well, they will have to deal with Clark Schmidt tonight on MLB Network. We were talking today before the show at JP, and you know there's tons of Yankee fans in this building. They're very high on Clark Schmidt and what he could mean for their future. What will you be watching for tonight? Well, Lauren, exactly right to that point. And for both Crawford and for Schmidt, this is a huge start in, in, a, in the process of proving that they belong and need to have a spot in the rotation to begin next season. I think Schmidt has been around the strike zone. He's, he, I think he's shown a really good repertoire that's able to get you through a lineup twice, maybe three times. And when you look at Schmidt's numbers since the start of the season, Lauren, he has been 
Outside of Garrett Cole, the Yankees' most consistent starting pitcher, in my estimation, both in terms of performance, availability, reliability. There you see it with his 140 and two-thirds innings. And Cutter Crawford, someone who in the past, Lauren, has been sort of a, a tweener. He's been a little bit of a reliever at times and, and now more of a starter. And I think that what Crawford has done there, as you see, surpassing the 100 inning mark for him. He's someone has got a unique sort of very downhill delivery and is able to attack the zone there. A little bit of Keith Folk in the way he throws the ball almost, Lauren, but he's, he can do it as a starting pitcher. And I think for that reason, the Red Sox at a time where there is some age and some I mean, that's it. This is why you don't stay there. Hey, Dolly stinks. <laughs> Maybe just tell people that she stayed there. It makes it more palatable <laughs> that you have no well, light, hello, JP. Dolly. Hello, Dolly. <laughs> it's haunting. <laughs> it's getting weirder by the moment, Rofo. Yeah, it is. Way. JP, we appreciate the time. Enjoy the game. Red Sox, Yankees, that's our showcase game tonight.